We are going to demonstrate how to use a stair jig, a framing square, and a very simple wood strip with uh, clamps. So this is going to be our stair framing jig. So in this demonstration, we're going to use this example here, which has a 7 and 9 sixteenths unit rise, a standard 10 inch unit run, and based on those two numbers, our pitch length from corner to corner, diagonal, is 12 and 9 sixteenths. So here's our framing square. Uh, the framing square is made up of the tongue and the body. And when we set it up in our stair layout jig, we're going to use the tongue to lay out our rise, our unit rise, and we'll use the body as the component of our unit run. The first step to accurately setting up your jig with your framing square is to mark the pitch length on your jig so that you can actually accurately set your rise and your run, your unit rise and unit run. In this example, our unit rise was 7 and 9 sixteenths, our unit run was 10 inches, and our pitch length was 12 and 9 sixteenths. So what I've done is I've taken, I've marked a line across the edge of my board and then measured over 12 and 9 sixteenths and drawn a parallel line. That is going to help me to set my framing square in my jig. I'm going to insert my jig in between my framing square in between my jig and then going by my lines that I've drawn on my jig, set my rise, 7 and 9 sixteenths, to my line there, and my 10 inches to my run. And clamp it down. So now that we've got to our pitch length lines, we just want to check our dimensions here and here to fine tune and make sure that we get our 7 and 9 sixteenths and our 10 inch dimensions. Looks like we're a little bit big on the run and a little bit short on the rise. So we would just pivot this slightly down there and up there. And check it for accuracy. Come down just a little bit there. So the next step is to make a practice layout mark on a scrap piece of wood. So we'll set our jig up to the edge of our board. Remember this is our unit run, this is our unit rise. So we'll take a sharp pencil, we'll mark the rise and the run, and then we can check it with the tape measure. So now we can verify our measurements. If I burn 10 inches, I can read my tape a little more accurately. So I am right at 7 and 9 sixteenths on that dimension. That is my unit rise. And again, I'll burn 10 inches, and I am right at my 20. When we want to measure something accurately with our tape measure in short distances, it's hard to get a good starting point with the hook on our tape measure that we would normally use for laying out studs and, and things like that. 
So one thing that we can do to be real accurate to measure a starting point, a zero point, um, for something like a stair stringer is to what we call burn an inch or burn 10 inches in this case. Uh, burning just means that you skip a little bit down the way and instead of starting at the hook, we're going to start at the 10. The 10 essentially becomes our zero point. Now we can also verify our pitch length. Again, I'm going to burn 10 inches. So my 10 is my zero point. And I'm going to measure over. And I am at 12 and 9 sixteenths.